Hey folks, Fernando doing our video for Tomorrow Survivalist and in this case talking about lighters, something that it's an important part of a lot of people's EDC. For, for a while I did carry a one lighter or another, actually this is one of the lighters I've carried the most over the years. Lately I'm in this a place where I'm not using much lighters, I mean I don't even smoke so I've never did, so for me it's more of a, a matter of having something to start a fire if I ever need it and I understand the importance of fire in terms of survival and preparedness and as part of your EDC, at least for a lot of people. Talking about that, I do cover EDC to quite an extent in Street Survival Skills. There's a couple dedicated chapters regarding EDC, so you have that over there and of course surviving the economic collapse, very important given everything going on these days all over the world. So one of the more simple uh, solutions people find to this is just go with a big or clipper lighter. These clipper ones, man, they're very nice. This one is all metal. It has has like this, this satin finish it's you know it's refillable so you have like yeah a little valve there so you can uh, fill this up right again and you can even replace the, the flint you know you have a little plastic mechanism there you can remove it so it is affordable yet quite good super lightweight cheap if you lose it no big deal of course we like to complicate things a lot more than necessary and we like zippos zippo lighters are um, you know americana <laughs> to the maximum extension and few things are more yes um, beloved by the american uh, uh, people in general than a, a good zippo lighter the thing is this if you don't smoke you're really not using all that much and even if you do smoke you know better than anyone else that these things need to be constantly refueled it gets old I mean for years you know uh, I think it was this one but you know most of these this one I know that I carried for years in my pocket uh, when I was uh, a lot younger and I had the dedication to fill it up maybe once a week maybe a couple times you know every two weeks or so and yes uh, I, I use it for you know starting fires if I uh, if I was, if I went out camping, if I started like a, a barbecue or an asado, as we call it in Argentina, um, melting plastic or uh, you know melting the end of a of a piece of cord of 550. Anyway, the problem though is this: the problem is that eventually, when you need it, it's dry and it's not lighting. Now, the solution for that has been, at least for me, has been these uh, gas inserts for Zippo. Different brands, most of, most of them have been quite reliable for me. I have maybe five of these and I left them uh, filled uh, so as to check how long it lasts if the valve fails and it ends up losing. Man, all of these are still working for me so I have no complaints whatsoever. This is a wild uh, fire. I know there's an ultra fire brand. Um, I leave links for whatever it is that I find and I'll leave links for the one that I'll talk in this video regarding Zippo but this one has been pretty good for me. Um, over the years the last one that I carry the most has been this one, the um, a Zippo with the Indiana Jones custom badges. No, this is not commonly available. It's quite hard to find these these days. Uh, but yeah, this is a, a nice um, Zippo with a gas insert as well. It looks very classical, but on the inside, it's just gas. And yeah, when you need it, it works. Another alternative is the one that I have in this cool Zippo right here, which is like these jet you know, gas uh, mechanisms. As you see, they're a little bit more prone to fail. I was actually just using it uh, and it worked fine, but already, see what's going on? It's just not working anymore. So just moments ago, this was working just fine. Now, I hear a little bit gas. Maybe it just needs to be refilled, but this works perfectly so as to prove my point. These things are not as reliable. This one in particular I find it not to be as reliable, especially because of the clicky system. This clicky, clicky system always ends up breaking. I've had a number of lighters over the years. This is the one that is most likely to fail. So yeah, I'll have, there it goes. A little bit of a flame there. Ah, there I have a tiny little flame. Yeah, probably out of gas. Anyway, there's something uh, more, This is, for me this would be like a revolution like at, at the time of uh, flashlights was the LED. You know, with, with LEDs we went from the stone age of flashlights into the future of flashlights, which is so much better, so much more reliable, just lasts a heck of a lot longer. And that's what we have now with the arc uh, technology for lighters, which is simply an arc of plasma that lights stuff on fire. This, uh, at first it's 
seem like very gadgety, gimmicky, man, it just works. Whatever it is you put in there or close to it, it just burns. And if you have fibers, you know, anything like paper, uh, I, of course, like uh, if you have a cigarette or fibers to burn, this will light on a fire. And because it's all electricity and the only moving part is really just the switch, this is a lot more simple in mechanical terms, not in terms of technology, but in mechanical terms as stuff that is likely to fail than something where you have a flint wheel and small little valves, let alone something that just dries up in your pocket like your traditional simple, okay? And I've had a number of these over the years. This one still works just fine. It's still holding the original charge years later. This is a little bit more high tech because it has a little laser and when you, and yes, you have a light there that indicates how much power you still have left. Very cool. And when you interrupt that laser beam, it, it starts, it goes on, which is super nice. Now, the, the, I had one of these that failed because of this system that lights everything, you know, powers up everything when you open that little switch there. So that's the only thing that I found to be a little bit more, you know, finicky and likely to fail, but it's super cool. I mean, come on, how, this looks straight out of like Star Trek or something like that. You know, beam of laser and you interrupt that and it lights, that is fantastic. But I always like the idea of something using this technology yet more reliable from a manufacturer that I can have a little bit more faith on. And that's where the latest from Zippo comes in, which is a, a arc lighter insert for your Zippo made by Zippo. And that's what I have here. Let me show you how this works. Super simple. As always, you just remove the, uh, you know, the, the interior thing. You know, there it's working again. Anyway. And this one is made by Zippo, you know, so this one is, is also a, a quality brand, but the, the fact that this uh, catalytic system thing just doesn't, and yeah, maybe it's just a little bit a matter of just refueling, probably what, what's missing, but that's always more likely to fail. This I have quite a bit more faith on, which is just um, a system where you, I have a, an electric switch and I'm not pressing and using a lot more force than, than necessary. Just opening the thing up. And yeah, I forgot to mention, you have a micro USB port for charging. Sure, you have it there. I wish they would replace this with a typical USB type C, which is the modern standard these days for, for chargers. You do have a little light right there, an indicator of blue light when solid is fully charged. When it's blinking, you need to recharge it. But it allows you to every once in a while give it a little bit more charge. And it has, it says right here, 200 milliampers of power. So it's a decent size lithium battery. You know, 200 milliampers lithium ion battery, nice. It's nice to know what you're dealing with and not have to just guess whatever crap they just threw in there. Charging cord included, double tap push button, USB fits all regular Zippos. And yes, yes it does. As you see here, you just drop it in place and that's it. So what you have is your typical Zippo. You have your nice case, whatever favorite case you have, but now you have something that you don't have to worry about this just you know, spilling a liquid, a lighter fluid in your pocket, you're causing some rash or whatever crap it is, or just drying up and not working when you need it. No, this is a lot more simple. Double tap on that and you have your arc and your plasma arc will ignite. Um, I've tried this with cardboard, paper, of course, any of these things, you just put it in there and it starts burning. Now, they're looking to start a fire or anything, but you get the point. It's just a great alternative for people that want to have. And again, um, you know, I go through different um, stages or phases or whatever it is you want to call it. Sometimes I feel like, yeah, I want to have a lighter with me. So I pick something up and have it in my pocket. Lately, to be honest, I haven't carried a lighter in, in some time. Uh, now I may end up doing it again because I, I like this one quite a bit and they have some cool little uh, zippos around. Um, but I feel that if you're, well, of course, if you're smoking, your priority would be, you know, dude, stop smoking. What the hell are you doing? It's one of the most harmful things you can do to your health. Smoking, yes, I know of uh, the, the hundred year old dude that lived and smoked every day. Sure, but you know what? With your luck, with my grandfather's luck, yeah, that's not how it works. You know, my, my, my beloved grandfather, one of the main reasons why he didn't live, you know, to uh, older than he did was, yeah, because of uh, his, his smoking habits. So it, I have, you know, feelings about that uh, based on uh, what we went through with him 
you know, don't smoke, you know, be smart, use that money for something else and not something so stupid like that. But the ability of starting fire, yes. And especially if you live like in cold environments, you may want to consider the, you know, the importance of having something that allows you to start a fire because you live in, you know, colder places. And if you live like in more, uh, you know, a rural or um, outdoor environments where you're surrounded by maybe large national parks or wilderness areas, whatever place it is where maybe a fire may come into play in a very key role in your survival, you may want to have the ability to start fire as part of your everyday carry, as part of your EDC. And this would be definitely one of the more interesting uh, ideas, right? Besides, and yes, I, I, I would be the first one to say that if you find yourself often in, in, in wilderness environments, don't just rely on your EDC fancy you know, plasma lighter, you probably have a, a proper uh, kit with you and it includes, you know, the, the famous three methods of starting fire, which would be a, a ferro rod, matches in a, a waterproof container, and a disposable lighter. At least for me, those are the three uh, methods I wouldn't want to be without whenever I'm even, you know, close of having the possibility of needing that for uh, uh, an emergency. Guys, it's going to be all for now. See you on our next video. Take care.